Where are we? We were falling. Is this... Are we dead? No. This is the Fade. The Inquisitor opened a rift. We came through. And survived. I never thought I would ever find myself here physically. Look. The Black City. Almost close enough to touch. This must be very exciting for you, Solus. Any advice you have on what exactly is going on would be wonderful. Cole, how does it feel to be back home? I, I, I can't be here. Not like this. Not like me. It's all right. We'll make it right. This place is wrong. I made myself forget when I made myself real. But I, I know it wasn't like this. It's not how I remember the Fade, either. The Fade itself is reacting to our presence here much more strongly than I have ever seen before. Perhaps it's because we're here physically, instead of simply visiting in dreams. The stories say you walked out of the Fade at Haven. Was it like this? I don't know. I still can't remember what happened the last time I did this. Well, whatever happened at Haven, we can't assume we're safe now. That huge demon was right on the other side of that rift Eremond was using. And there could be others. In our world, the rift the demons came through was nearby. In the main hall. Can we escape the same way? It beats waiting around for demons to find us, right? There. Let's go. This is fascinating. It is not the area I would have chosen, of course. But to physically walk within the Fade. I hardly believe this possible. Do you think the Inquisitor's mark is keeping us alive here? Stands to reason. Solus, you're the expert on this place. Anything helpful? The Fade is shaped by intent and emotion. Remain focused, and it will lead you where you wish to go. The demon that controls this area is extremely powerful. Some variety of fear, I would guess. I suggest you remain wary of its manipulations, and prepare for what is certain to be a fascinating experience. I feel like I brought two of the best possible people on this quest, not even knowing what I was getting myself into. So we're here we are in the Fade, wow. This is the first time I think we, I've ever in any Dragon Age had a full party in the Fade, although I don't remember Dragon Age 2 very well, and it might have had moments like that too. But, Vivian's kind of whatever, but I have Solus and Cole, so... Solus has been studying the Fade his entire life, and Cole is from a spirit from the Fade, who has been sort of been inhabiting a human body, and now he's kind of here again, but in his human body still. Also, Solus and Cole have a very specific relationship with each other, discussing his history and his specific state of being that's so unusual. So having them here together enables some interesting dialogue. Man. It's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting seeing how this plays out for sure. All right, let's get the show on the road. And and not very not do a very good job at hiding the fact that like several hours have passed in the last few seconds for you guys. Uh Yeah. I got a little interrupted. My bad. But here we are in the fade doing a little bit of exploring around trying to figure out what I'm going to find around here. So we have a lot of wraiths over there. Not a, never really a good sign. One on their own, no big deal. A horde of them, more of a big deal. Because wraiths are squishy, so you can easily just focus fire one down in seconds, but they're also dangerous, so having a bunch of them in a group means that there's always going to be some that get more time on their own than others. Let's see. If we haven't fully started combat yet... By the way, I saw the uh, the stash over here. I'm going to leave it... I'm going to try not to touch that for a while and see if I can get away with staving it for later to recover uh, potions later. Now let's see if I can get a shot off with my... Uh, 
rogue before this fight starts. There we go. And he's dead. Oh, but his two friends are coming up. Oh no. What do we do? They seem to be staying exactly outside of my attack range. Oh, there they go. Yeah, how's that feel, buddy? Let's get in there for a long, a bouncing long shot to do a bunch of damage to them. How's that feel? Feel good for you guys? <laughs> Very effective. Yep, it's closed. That was all of them. What are we getting here? Ooh, Vassy just leveled up. The ring of attack, 2% attack. Inventory's full. That's gonna be a problem. I'm gonna go through my inventory real quick and look for stuff that's worth removing so that this becomes less of a problem for the next few hours or minutes or however long this is. Alrighty, much better. We got a nice big chunk of open inventory space now, so I, now I can pick up even more things for me to not necessarily want to keep around. But hey, at least now I can pick it up, right? Which means I can go through this whole instance hitting X on everything instead of spending time doing inventory management. Ooh. Let's look around. What am I homing in on? Obviously, there's the thing to investigate back there, but what am I homing in? What am, what do I home in on in this kind of setting? It's a candle. Fears of the dreamers. Find another fear. I'm supposed to find five candles or five fears? Is someone in this group? Let's take a look at that uh, journal for sure then. Uh, oh my god. Oh, probably in the fade, right? Oops, wrong one. Fears of the dreamers. Uh, fears torment the dreamers. Find the answers that may calm their fears so that they may find peace. Find another fear. One out of five. And then present the item to the pilgrim, whoever that is. Probably something I'm supposed to find out about before I start doing, but whoops. My question is, am I finding the fears of this party of people right here? I don't know, I have a party of four people right here. And I have two extra people, which is actually six people total. Can Vasti now pick a new specialization, because he leveled up? Nope, still just the same four classes as before. Huh. Yeah, I'll, I'll, have to look, I'll have to research after I'm done with this story mission how exactly getting your new specialization works. Because I did the quest thing, but I haven't done it yet, apparently. Alright, let's investigate this... thing. Fears of the Dreamers, the Pilgrim. I came to the Temple of the Sacred Ashes with the Faithful, ready to help at the Conclave. I prayed to the Maker for peace, but the mountains shook and fell and buried me. Alone in the darkness, my legs crushed, I cried in fear of a world with no Maker, fading in and out of dreams of monsters inside the black. Light my final hours, let me go to the Maker without the terrors of darkness confounding me. Do we mean light our final hours very literally, like we need the candle? Ah, I just feared, I just eased that guy's fear with the candle. And my reward was magic plus one. That's a weird, and it looks like it happened to Vasti specifically because he went all shiny and stuff. So my, <laughs> so our, our beloved main character, the warrior, just got plus one magic. So they're doing that thing from Dragon Age 1 where you go into the Fade and you get stat points for your primary character. What's this over here? A plea from the warrior to the spirits. The wolves were our allies in the old days, before Andraste, before the Maker. We knew this to be so. But man grew tired of the chase, the hunt, the truth of fang and steel and blood. Man put seeds in the ground, tended cattle and chickens, and built fences to keep the wolves away. Man bred hounds that would heal and sit and obey, and told himself that the hounds were just as good. Now the darkspawn come again. They break our fences, kill our cattle and chickens, burn our crops. Our dogs cower with tails between their legs, or if they fight, they fall to the poison of the darkspawn blood. We are dying, and I am, I am shamed by my cowardice. The ways of man and hound are not enough. I come to you, spirits of the old forest, I who built fences. I who came with fire and steel to drive you away. I come to you because fear has made my arms weak. I ask you for unforgiving... I ask you for unforgiving rage to make them strong again. Kill the hound in my heart and grow strong from the meat on its bones, and in its place give me the wolf. Words caught in the bloody ripples of ancient water in the fade, somehow remembered. Huh. That almost sounded like a solvable problem like the previous one, but that was not a that was not another dreamer that I need to ease the fears of. So we need to find four more people like that guy if we're going to ease the fears around here. Which may be required for progress and might be a side quest, but if it's a side quest, I think I want to do it anyway. Because it seems like a cool thing to pursue. 
Our goal is up there on the light, so I can't go up there yet anyway. Uh, there's our friendly... How are we doing on potions? Haven't used any more yet. Okay. Is it safe to walk in here? Looks like nothing bad happens if I walk around in here. That staircase will take me to my objective. Anything else around here first, though? Hastily written note. Make or give me strength. When the darkspawn came to Denerim, I wept so hard that I could not see. But still I fought for you. When demons poured from the sky where the Temple of Sacred Ashes used to stand, my hand shook so badly that I could not aim my bow. But still I fought for you. When Corypheus and his archdemon destroyed Haven and killed my friends, I screamed until I had no voice, but still I fought for you. They are sending me to attack Adamant. They say that the fortress is defended by an army of demons, and the odds, odds are grim. We cannot win, but our distraction... Our sacrifice may give the important people the chance to do what is necessary. My stomach is knotted, and I see dead friends from old battles reaching out for me every time I close my eyes. I am so afraid, Maker, but still, I will fight for you. Rider unknown. That's really depressing, because that, in that infers that someone made it through the Battle of Denerim, and they made it... So they made it through the Battle of Denerim, they made it through... Uh, the op they made they survived the Chantry attack, they survived the attack on Haven, and then finally, after all that, died in the fight in the battle we just initiated. So there's a side path here and the staircase back there that seems to go up towards the objective. We're gonna see what I find around here. Are there baddies? There's some baddies. Level 15 wraith, level 15 greater shade, level 15 wraith. Three wraiths, one greater shade. Okay, I'm gonna switch to coal for sure then and see if I can get that beloved opening shot that I love to get so much. Hello, friend. Fuck you. And get ready for that bouncing long shot. Come on. Yeah, there we go. That does, that does some severe damage to a number of the, uh, of our enemies. Oh, yeah, this is going great. Cole does such ridiculous damage, <laughs> frankly. I love it. He's just... Oh, my God. I just... Oh, Jesus. I think I just crit for 3,500 damage right there. I think it was me. It's a little hard to tell. I should, I should look into that. How do the colors work when I'm attacking people? Are the uh, colors I'm seeing on screen... Uh, oh, Enhanced Payback Strike Ring. That's one of the first cool abilities you get for a warrior. I'm not sure if the if the on-color... The on-screen colored text... I don't know if that's based on element or based on character dealing the damage. So it's not always easy to tell who's doing damage, but what's this book say? Walking the Fade, Frozen Moments. I once studied the Fade as a scholar, dissecting it. As a child, my, a rat or a frog, I was young and craved the power of conquering the Fade could bring. I tried in vain to chart its path, and when that failed, I attempted to secure them. In my arrogance, I struggled against the Fade's very nature. How does one pin down a dream? How can one control a thought so that it might travel always the same course from conception to completion? Only when I let go of my desires and humbled myself was the Fade open to me. The spirits came and took it upon themselves to be my guides, my lanterns in the darkness. At their command, the paths grew still, and I could walk them again and again. I was shown vast oceans containing not water, but memories, drawn from the minds of dreamers. I drifted through frozen moments like paintings, perfect in every detail. As I exposed this impossible realm, the spirits kept darker things at bay. I came to trust them, even love them, and I saw my own love reflected in them. To know the Fade, one cannot seek to master it. The, ma the Fade is the master, the teacher. We are merely apprentices. Writing of Magister Callistus of Teravin, known to some as Callistus the Fade Touch. I believe that's a character we've encountered multiple times in the past, although there are a lot of names to keep track of. Oh my god, I have five people following me around now instead of three people. If I, <laughs> Every time I walk down a hallway and try to turn around, I'm just going to be stuck completely. That's pretty funny. I do find it neat that uh, Hawk is wearing the same armor set he was wearing when I last played the, uh, uh, Dragon Age 2, when I beat the game. I think that's just the generic, hey, you're a high-level rogue armor, though. There probably just wasn't a lot of options. Or it's just... This place is horrid. Or it could just be luck. Completely option possible. This looks like... Yeah, this looks a lot like the mirror slash portal that uh, was created by... Morrigan, and then also created at some point by Meryl. So Morgan from Dragon Age 1, although she specifically did the portal thing in the Witch Hunt a DLC, which is like the finale of all the DLCs, I believe, for that game, aside from maybe Awakening. And uh, 
I want to say Meryl just made it as her companion quest in, in Dragon Age 2. Let's see what happens when I touch this thing. Usually bad things. Magic plus one. Okay. A little anticlimactic. Just some magic. Uh, ho hopefully I start getting some stats that are actually useful for my, uh, my melee character. Because I don't think magic does anything at all for him. Probably. It's probably completely useless. How what's the map look like around here? Just a very self-contained, crazy place. Oh, it's, oh, wow, we have a number of... We have a fairly extensive map over here. Let's see, so we have... Here lies the abyss. As the ledge collapsed under the, under the dragon's weight, the mark opened a rift, transporting the party into the Fade, the real Fade. This is no place for non-spirits. Escape as soon as possible. So escape, duh. All right, so we have one of the riddles. Two. Three. Four. So that's just all the riddles, so... Not a ton on the map, but definitely stuff to look into. We'll just continue up the stairs and see what happens. Probably my death. I'm sure we'll be fine. What could go wrong? It's just... Is that Justinia? By the Maker. Could that be? I greet you, Warden. And you, Champion. Divine Justinia. What are you, a spirit? A demon? The real Divine couldn't have survived Haven. Couldn't she? How much of Haven do you truly remember? You think my survival impossible, yet here you stand alive in the Fade yourselves. In truth, proving my existence either way would require time we do not have. Surely you can understand our concerns and explain what you are. I am here to help you. You do not remember what happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, Inquisitor. The real Divine would have no way of knowing that I'd been made Inquisitor. I know, because I have examined memories like yours, stolen by the demon that serves Corypheus. It is the nightmare you forget upon waking. It feeds off memories of fear and darkness, growing fat upon the terror. The false calling that terrify the Wardens into making such grave mistakes? It's work. I would gladly avenge the insult this nightmare dealt, my brethren. You will have your chance, brave Warden. This place of darkness is its lair. Par part of me doesn't trust her just because that voice does not match that face at all. That is not a sufficiently old-sounding face. Corypheus seems to have a lot of demons at his disposal. How does he command so many? I know not how he commands his army of demons. His power may come from the Blight itself, but the Nightmare serves willingly. For Corypheus has brought much terror to this world. He was one of the Magisters who unleashed the first Blight upon the world, was he not? Every child's cry as the Archdemon circles. Every Dwarf's whimper in the deep roads. The Nightmare has fed well. The big demon Eremond was trying to bring through. Yes. It's nearby. Yes. Well, shit. When you entered the Fade at Heaven, the demon took a part of you. Before you do anything else, you must recover it. These are your memories, Inquisitor. My enemies are a bunch of monsters to stab? That's weird. Okay. So. Hick, hick, hick. Wraith. So two wraiths, three wraiths, four. F Jesus, four wraiths. Okay, not too bad. I have encountered worse situations. We'll have Cole do a long, a full draw on one of the distance enemies. Have the rest of the party attack this guy because he's more in the open, more immediately accessible. Uh, make sure you do that full draw, Cole. I accidentally overrode my own c command. Come on, clear shot. There we go. Instantly down, like always. And since this one's up here on the ledge, if I can get my camera to it, I'm going to tell him to do... Uh, as soon as I can, I'm going to tell him to do a long draw. 
There we go. Wow, 3,600 damage. That's no joke. I think I hit someone down here too. Is he dead? I just killed that guy. The ricochet killed that guy. This guy only survived because he had a barrier. Holy shit, Cole. You are fucking scary. Alright, let's, let's just have some fun with Vivian then. With with fire. Alright, we'll be fine now. Just need to hit a few things. We basically got through that fight without taking any damage. Alright, let's recover our memory. That was apparently really hard to get. Oh, as the Herald, of course. Run where you can! Warn them! Bring forth the sacrifice. You're doing this, you of all people. Your mark did not come from Andraste. It came from the orb Corypheus used in his ritual. Corypheus intended to rip open the veil, use the anchor to enter the Fade and throw open the doors of the Black City. Not for the old gods, but for himself. When you disrupted his plan, the orb bestowed the anchor upon you instead. I never thought Andraste did this. I did this myself, through my actions. No maker required. And now you may be certain. You cannot escape the lair of the Nightmare until you regain all that it took from you. You have recovered some of yourself, but now it knows you are here. You must make haste. I will prepare the way ahead. Something troubles you, Hawk. Those were Grey Wardens holding the Divine in that vision. Their actions led to her death. I assumed he had taken their minds, as you have seen him do before. Come, we can argue after we escape this dark place. Oh, I intend to. Do you believe it was really her? The Divine. We have survived in the Fade physically. Perhaps she did as well. Or, if it is a spirit that identifies so strongly with Justinia, that it believes it is her, how can we say it is not? Whether this is a kindly spirit or a demon fighting its rival for territory remains to be seen. And what of the demon she mentioned? This nightmare sounds dangerous. It's nothing like me. I make people forget to help them. It eats their fears. I, I don't know if I could do that, but I don't. I don't want to. That's not me. Peace, Cole. None of us mistake you for the Nightmare. It is a fear demon, as I suspected, likely drawing on terrors related to the Blight. Fear is a very old, very strong feeling. It predates love, pride, compassion, every emotion, save perhaps desire. Be wary. The Nightmare will do anything in its power to weaken our resolve. After what it did to my fellow Wardens, I pray we find some way to strike it down. That was one of the longer conversations I've ever heard a party of characters say. Definitely don't regret bringing Cole and Solus along in particular. Vivian doesn't have much to add, but she's kind of important to my party composition right now. Uh, 
Once again, accidentally said something more self-assured and snide than I meant to be. I was just trying to say, like, yeah, I, I haven't really thought that the Maker was involved. I've been alluded to that multiple times. Something, I thought, it, I, I, was, I was thinking more along the terms of, like, yeah, it's a freak accident. And I, I just kind of caught, got caught on this, but my character went on to be like, I did this. Me. My deeds. I did it all by myself. I'm like, that's not the tone I was going for. I was just going for, like, I didn't... I was going for more like, oh man, this is a freak situation that I got caught in. Not, like, I'm amazing. <laughs> Alright, let's get that full draw. Like usual, come on, and... Oh, yep, the greater shades are much better at surviving that are, than other characters are. Still, though, we can very easily cause all sorts of problems now for this character. Now that this is initiated, and I want to take out one of them as fast as possible. There we go. Just to get this off to a good start. If we take out one, like, basically immediately, then the second one's just kind of a cakewalk. Because we cut their party damage in half. I can even make it worse for this guy, because I can be like, Oh, what that? So sad, there's only one of you now? Oh, that's so sad. Now you're also moving in slow motion. <laughs> Turns out six on one is not a good odds for a demon. Even if it's a good demon, let alone uh, just a shitty little, uh, shade. What's this over here? A letter written in the shaking hand. In a shaking hand. Wow, Cole actually managed to take damage and all that. I'm surprised. Son, by the time you read this, the darkspawn poison will have claimed me. We gave all at St we gave all at Starkhaven, and we brought time. We bought time for the wardens to slay the archdemon. But when I smelled the corruption in my wound, I knew I would not live to see you again. Frias will want men to search the battlefield. He sees he sees Starkhaven as a rising to greatness. And the weapons of a hundred dead Grey Wardens lying unclaimed on the ground will help him reconquer the free marches. You must refuse. The battlefield is soaked with poison and no speech, no bullying, no taunts about cowardice can change that. Anything that rooms that roams that battlefield now will die. Stall him however you must and watch for the crows. Those birds have a good sense to fear the blight. When you see them gather, then you will know the poison is gone and it is safe to search the battlefield for trinkets to satisfy Freyus. I will not be there to guide you, son. So you must learn from the crows. They keep, they watch patiently, and they keep and their fear keeps them alive. Please, I beg you, watch the crows and do the same, Sora. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever heard about that particular wrinkle of the story that apparently crows can detect the blight, and no, and you can actually use them to detect whether or not an area is safe after a darkspawn battle. That's it. Might have been said before, but I don't remember it. I definitely, I definitely don't remember that point. Granted, it's hard to remember everything in Dragon Age, because there's a lot of Dragon Age between the three games. There's so much Dragon Age. Ah, uh, we have a visitor. Some foolish little boy comes to steal the fear I kindly lifted from his shoulders. You should have thanked me and left your fix. Come on, full draw. Take the guy out. Where will it lay? Forgotten. You think? Pain will make you stronger. What fool filled your mind with such drivel? The only one who grows stronger from your fear is me. But you are a guest here. So by all means, let me return what you have forgotten. Well, I mean, if you're just gonna give it to me, then we could just... That would solve all sorts of problems. You want, you want to follow through with that? Because then I don't have to kill you. I get the feeling I'm gonna have to kill you, though. You're probably gonna make me kill you. Ooh, what's that? Something over here. Is it another clue? It's over here. Oh, here we go. Ooh, flowers. So it's a fear, or a, or the solution to a fear at the very least. But when you still need to find the dreamer themselves, that might be it. What's this? The Closet Dumas. Master unveiled a new altar. It stands higher than a man, like a great statue, and great spikes jut out from its length, hungry for blood. Master calls it the Claw of Dumas, and says that the altar will help bring Tevinter to glory. I praise it, as was expected. And Master smiled. It was good to see him smile again. He had been fearful of late, vexed by the loss of his followers. He had met with the other priests, and in secret, 
I have heard them discussing ways to return the people of Deventer to the ways of the old gods, as is only just. He spoke to me later in the day and asked that I call him Corypheus, as it was the name he would take for himself after a ritual. Master, now Corypheus, told me that my people, the elves of old, were tied to the Fade, and that in order to carry out the will of Dumont, he would need to call upon the, the magic that lives in our blood. Corypheus told me to gather all the elven servants and bring them to the western hall of the ho of the home of our home at midnight. That it that is the hall where the claw of Dumont is now kept. There are shackles across the top of the great altar and pools lined with runes beneath the claws. I have sent my wife and children away, but have not warned the others. I f a few I may save. If I tried to save us all, we would only be killed in some other way, and others would die in our place. Master once laughed and joked. He could be stern, but he was not a cruel man. The weakening of the Templars brought fear into his heart, and that fear has changed him. The cuts upon his arms are deeper and longer where he used his blood magic more often. He speaks to his wife little. He listens only to the voices in his dreams. It is almost midnight. The Clave du Mat Scrape and spiked and merciless is all that my mind can see. I must gather the others. My family is safe. Corypheus will take me, but not those who I love. Words somehow preserved in blood at the statue's base. Wow. <clears throat> we actually got a little bit of backstory about uh, Corypheus himself and the ritual that he took on to actually become what he is today. And I think that looks like that looks suspiciously like it's going to be important. What's that? Skull? Nope, not important, really. Huh. It's a, that's peculiar looking. What else can I find around here? Not even just a skull. It looks like it's like the to whole top half of the head, maybe. Oh, that looks. That's probably one of the uh, dreams over here. Investigate. Fears of the dreamers. The freeholder. I watched the blight take my land. I had nowhere to go. I tended the fields as I had, even as my flock died and family sickened, my body racked by pains and chills. I saw too late the poison that had crept into my land. In my fever dreams, the sickness covered this whole world, and I wept in fear for the family I killed with my foolish pride. Show me that this world survives. Show me that the poison does not take everything. So, you give him some flowers. Makes sense, and my reward is... One constitution! That's way better for my tanky warrior. Awesome! Hopefully I'll just get a whole slew of different uh, different sp uh, statistic types. Be a, Have a nice, well-rounded buff overall as a result. This very much looks like a chest. I'm actually not sure what this looks like. This is very strange looking, actually. Some crazy Tevinter stuff, probably. I just... Whenever something looks really strange, it's either got to be Dwarven or Tevinter, right? Nope, oh, something I missed. Good. Good thing I wrapped around. But yeah, we got to see a little glimpse of how uh, Corypheus sacrificed all of the elves they can, that they had in their employ in order to open their way to the dark, the black city, and that and that's when they became, that's when they uh, that's that's when they found that the gods were not there, according to their story at least, and, or some people suspect that the someone someone suggested the idea that they might just say that to make themselves feel better about what happened, but who knows? And uh, uh, when they do that. That's when they became what they are now, or at least that's when Corypheus became what he is now. I don't know if the other people with him also became crazy creatures. Ooh, another mirror. Is it going to give me another, another stat point or something bad going to happen this time? One dexterity. Probably also for Vasti, right? I noticed in our flashback with Justinia that Vasti still had... He looked exactly like that, actually. Which I found peculiar, because Vasti has that level one really shitty armor at the beginning of the game. So it was weird to have uh, them show. Oh, th these are the uh, spider creatures I saw in the right after the character creation sequence. They're back. And they're gross. Make them go away. That was a completely superfluous bubble because Solus had already cast it like usual. That was my bad. I acted. My 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 hand worked faster than my than my mind did in that one. So I realized my mistake right afterwards. Happens a lot. That looks like the right way to go. So let's check the side path for potential stat bonuses because being thorough and other things like that seems to be benefiting me a lot because I seem to be doing quite well with the difficulty curve lately. I'm more than happy to do some story stuff. I might even jump directly from this into the next story chunk. What's this? 
Based, based on what level I am, who knows? Excerpt from a journal. They think they own us. Think they decide whether we live or die. They sit there smug in their armor, ready to cut off our heads for the slightest transgression, as though we don't strive every day to stay sane, to keep the demons away. They can't control us any longer. I won't go back to the circle, not ever. I thought about it last night. Be being back in the tower, their eyes on me, and all, I all of it came back. All the years, head down. Don't clench your fingers, be a good mage, be a quiet mage. And I realized I don't want to make peace with the Templars. I want them to burn. Want it so badly that the bed caught fire and wouldn't go out until Ivan iced it all over. It's still there inside me. I want them to feel the fear that made me feel. They made me feel. I want them to know what it's like. We're leaving for the Conclave in a few hours. If those bastards so much as blink the wrong way, I'll let them see what an apostate looks like. From the Journal of an Unknown Mage. Oh, up, 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 okay. Rage Demon. Yep, that makes sense. Because dude was fucking angry, turns out. Surprise. Uh, well, if you're going to barrier, I'm going to make sure you barrier the whole group perfectly. There we go. There we go. Now we can proceed pretty easily from here. All right. Bubble, motherfucker. That's right. Now you're slow. What are you going to do about that? You're going to slowly die? Ow, you hit me, didn't you? Rude. Yeah, he's in trouble. He can't even move, really. How's that feel, buddy? You feel good about that? It wasn't fun for you? Here, bubble again. Oh, that was pointless. It's over. Man, the ability to reduce my cooldowns by sitting there and hammering on people makes it so I can sit there and keep casting slow over and over again. That's... That's crazy. I might, I might want to move slow to my main screen. Yeah, let's do that right now, actually. Let's move that skill to my front page instead of revive, which I rarely use. Let's see. So R1. There we go. And revive will become wherever slow used to be. Or it'll become R1. Whatever. Uh, am I missing a skill? Oh, well. That's... Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So now revive's on the second page, but now slow is on the front page. So I can keep track of its cooldown and cast it whenever I want instead of ch having to check constantly whether or not it's available again. 